Well, almost everyone is infected with this virus, but few actually know it. The good news is, though, the virus rarely causes symptoms, but it can pose a danger, and that's what scientists at the University of Arizona are hoping to learn more about. Now, on your side, Ricky Mitchell joins us with more on this. This is pretty interesting. What is this? Well, it's called the cytomegalovirus, a weird name, and it infects 80% of the American population, but like you said, hardly anyone even knows they have it, and because it mainly stays dormant, doctors and scientists know very little about it, but U of A research Researchers are hoping to change that. Right. But I'm assuming these are all just nuclear inclusions. To the average person, this image may just look like a simple finger painting. But to Ken Knox and Felicia Goodrum, these images hold infinite questions about viruses and the way they affect us. What happens to viruses that are persisting with the, within us that we just carry for our lifetimes? What happens when we enter a disease state? And for patients battling cancer or for anyone who needs a transplant, that's when the cytomegalovirus becomes a cause for concern. We believe that CMV plays an important role in organ rejection and in HIV infected subjects, although they're immunosuppressed. Even though they're uh, on therapy and doing well, CMV, uh, we think, is driving inflammation. It also poses a risk to women who contract the virus while pregnant. Goodrum says one in 150 American children are born with a congenital CMV infection, which can lead to hearing loss or neurological disorders. But by studying CMV in this lab, these researchers say they hope to come up with better treatment options, possibly even a vaccine. Understanding the complete picture of the viruses that we harbor is a whole new frontier of science and medicine that will definitely have very important implications for health. And their research is funded by the Flynn Foundation. They are about halfway done with a two-year study, and they hope to apply for additional funding as well. Stella? All right, Ricky, thank you very much for that.